Chen, the program is called Trooper in a Truck. NSP is teaming up with the Nebraska Trucking Association to get a better view of dangerous driving habits. We rode along today to see what they see. This is a whole different ball game being up here. A trooper's job with a trucker's point of view. Sergeant Phil Thede hops in Corey Stoll's truck. It gives us an opportunity to get uh, up much higher to where we can see down into vehicles. Um, and the vehicles don't know we're here, so they don't change their driving behavior. Leading to more stops. When we have officers in the area and specifically in the truck, we can take instant action on the safety violations. 242, that uh, Kia had a clock on it. 0.54 seconds, 0.54. The trooper in the truck calls those violations into another officer driving in a cruiser ahead, who then pulls that driver over. 242 will get the Kia. Rather than the big offenders, the program cracks down on more of the smaller mistakes. And if we can deal with those, some of these people we're hoping for voluntary compliance. Some of these people hopefully won't go to that next violation. Mistakes like changing lanes without signaling, following too close, and cutting other drivers off. Oh, he is not. Oh my gosh. Had to get ahead of that one vehicle. It's dangerous driving like this. Truckers say they see time and time again. I'm part of the trucking industry, and if we don't try to make things safer and better on the road, we need to do our part as a trucking company, too, as well as the troopers. For drivers, it may feel like a trap, but troopers say they're on the fast track to disaster. I can't think of uh, more true crime than safety violations at 80 miles an hour. It's hard to get more dangerous than that. NSP is considering putting stickers on the side of semi cabs, letting drivers know there is a trooper inside. Now, whether there actually is or not, they hope it encourages people to drive safer. Reporting live tonight, Taylor Barth, KETV News Watch 7.